Don't get caught up fishing the same old stuff. Look at them all behind that. Unreal. I'm tired of fishing the same old stuff, so we're gonna try to find a new fishing spot. Look right here. Look right there. I can't stand knowing they're biting without me. Oh my gosh. Like I won't, like why are y'all gonna bite without me? Like don't do that. That big one right there. <laughs> I found me a new little hole. Three, two, one. Ready? What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are on the Alabama River. We are in uncharted territory. Territory, toy, did I say territory? Territory. We're in uncharted territory today. We're where they have not graphed at all. You know, you get all these charts and all these maps and all this. So they've not even graphed any of this section of the Alabama River. So the main goal of this video is don't just look at your maps all the time. If, you, if it's a mapped, you know, mapped river, mapped reservoir, whatever, don't always rely on your maps because sometimes they're not right and sometimes you don't even have a map. And a lot of times on the Alabama River, places like this, you know, these rivers, they flood, sandbars wash up, places wash out, you know, things change. So what I'm doing is I'm paying attention to the water, I'm paying attention to everything. If a fish blows up where I'm looking, why is he blowing up right there? I'm looking at current, I'm looking at eddies. Maybe a big bowl in the river where the current's washing up somewhere. So I'm always paying attention to something new. There may be a washed up log and I'm like, oh, look right there. And that current will show you that. And I feel like all my videos are about current, but that's just what I love fishing. What we're doing today is we are using our electronics. We're looking at the water. We ain't looking at maps. Oh, look at that little ridge right there. No, we don't need this. I ain't saying we don't need no maps, but we're not looking at our chart. We're looking at this and what the water is gonna tell us. Bulls in the water, somewhere there might be a shoal or a ridge or something. And then I'm gonna idle it and, and actually see them on it. And if they're there, my Lawrence's will tell me that and I'll idle over them. So let's get after it. Let's see if we can find somewhere. Somewhere new. I'm trying to find a new place today. I'm tired of fishing the same old stuff. So we're gonna try to find a new fishing spot in uncharted territory. Y'all right with me. Come on. Let's go. I'm idling up the river, I'm sitting here looking. I'm running up the river actually and I'm and I see a wash up. I'm seeing bulls. See these little bulls right here? You see them in the current right through there? You know, they're washing up. Something's telling me there's either a ridge, there's something breaking the current up. It's just not the main river just running out through here. So I'm paying attention to my water. So what I'm gonna do now is checking out these bulls, checking out these rock piles or whatever they are in the water. I don't know yet. We're going to idle them, see if there's any fish on them. So use your graphs. There's a fish blowing up right there. I don't know how big they are, but there's something blowing up. Never, I, I ain't even never fished this before. I'm just idling it, looking, seeing if I see some. Them fish are blowing up for some reason. There's a ridge right here. Look right there. Comes up. This ain't even on the map or nothing. Little rock ridge through there, and it drops off. There's some fish that was blowing up right there. All right, so those fish were kind of blowing up at the front edge of that place. I don't know how big they are. They may be big ones, they may not be, I don't know. But I'm idling, I'm looking for them. I ain't gonna stop till I see them on these graphs. There's some suspended right there. All right, it's coming up right there. There they are. We may have us a new little fishing spot. Who knows? I don't know how big they are. They don't look real big. So, cut this motor off. So, there's another little ridge that comes up. All right, so as I'm idling, I'm looking. Look at them all behind that. Unreal. I don't know what them are. So, there's a ton of places in these river systems that come up and wash up, and there's like a bull here and a bull there, and you get caught up. I idle every one of them. I use my electronics, I idle them, see if there's any fish on them. Apparently there is. I don't know what they are. We're gonna roll up, see if we can catch some. I don't know, I might find us a new fishing hole. I, I will tell you this, if you do the same things that you've always done, I feel like guys get, get out there and they go fish the same locations. I get tired of doing that. You know, if you're, 
if you only have like a home lake and that's the only place that you get to go fish if you go out there and you fish the same spots you're gonna catch the same thing that you've always done so get off the map a little bit get out here idle around i mean there's days that, that i have to idle all day long and if i find one new place i put that in my little bookshelf boom new spot those days you're in a tournament or if you're just joy fishing and you want to catch a big one weather sets up right boom you roll up to a new place you're like dang there they are so let's see if these are big ones or not i don't know all right guys so we just rolled up to this place we're gonna try to get on a little bag never fished it i don't know what they're doing they might be biting they may not i seen them on my graph i don't know if they're striped could not tell you they got a clue see i'm right up there on top of that ridge there's some of them ones that came up they're like a decent one right there there's one right there uh-uh okay okay i hear you son little decent guy there's a new bass there's a new fish on a new spot how about that okay see if there's any more bigs in there look right here look right there oh gosh look right here uh-uh let's just spotlight this down real quick dang that feels like a good one oh my gosh freaking hammer dude that big one right there <laughs> i found me a new little hole freaking tank dude that's a big one <laughs> Unreal. Look at that freaking tank right there. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's a big one. That's a th that's almost a four pounder. Alright, so I'm pretty mad right now because if I had this spot a long time ago, if I'd have rolled up and said, hey, let me go find a new place instead of fishing the same old places, I'd have me a new little hammer hole. Look at that. Big one, boys. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, baby. I wonder if I can just put this on here and get a bite. I got one to bite him. Bomb. I finally caught me one of them suckers. Okay. Okay. I hear you, Hammer. So we'll see. On a new fishing hole, Hammer. Yeah, this ain't a bad little deal right here. I think you can catch a bag right here. I really think you can. Well, I've had a bite about every daggum cast. They're just kind of nipping at it. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Bro, you see that? That felt like a big one. Out in the middle of the river. Everybody riding right up, right over this. Like, oh, there ain't no fish out through there. <clears throat> That's where them suckers live. All right, so basically the moral of this video is get out there idle find you some new places don't like don't get caught up fishing the same old stuff like oh they ain't biting so i ain't going or they ain't in this creek so we ain't gonna catch them they're biting somewhere like they're always they're not not biting i, I can promise you this somewhere on your lake today five four or five there was probably five six pound bass bit somewhere so 
I always think, even on a tougher day, a cloudy day, a sunny day, there is a pattern, there is a place, there is somewhere they're biting. They ain't been biting on my, all my other places, so I'm gonna expand out. I'm gonna use my grass, I'm gonna idle around, I'm paying attention to the water. If you have an idle to straight river ledge, you never have, you rode past it your whole life, I can promise you, every mile of the river, every mile of your lake, there's bass on it somewhere, and they're probably less pressured. So the key to doing this is you're finding less pressured fish, you don't have competition, you don't have guys rolling up, fishing them all the time, nobody's planning on sitting on it. Just be real careful, when you do find a sneaky place, keep it real on your low key. Don't even tell your best friend, because you tell your best friend, he's gonna, he's gonna get you. Oh man, I ain't gonna tell nobody. Woo woo! First stop, first stop of the day, that's where they stop at. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I mean, I don't know if somebody's found there or not. I've never seen anybody fishing right through there, ever. And, you know, my, my whole deal is get off the map, use your electronics, pay attention to every small detail. Today, we were looking for current breaks. Like, out in the middle, I'm sitting here running up through the river, and I see this one little swell, and it's like, I don't know, I ain't never fishing. Let's try it. Boom, there's some fish on it. Not some giants, but who knows? In another month or so, that you may pull up catch 20 pounds there. So, but it's another thing you can put in your filing cabinet. Boom, I got this spot, I got this spot, I got that spot. If I need a keeper, if I need a three pounder, I can roll up, maybe the difference. I'm gonna leave you guys with this. Get out there on your home lakes, fish new places. Don't just go out there and throw the same color worm, go fish the same deep spots you always do. Like, the possibilities are endless fishing, man. Whether you're tinkering with baits, trying new baits, trying new fishing locations, always learn. And today, that's what we did. We got out here and learned. I've been doing this for 30 years. Learn something new every day. Appreciate you guys following along. Uh, got some big stuff coming up. We're going, uh, the, the weather's cooling off. It's, we got a big cold front coming in here soon. We're going to get uh, some deer hunting done. Pretty excited about that. Take a little break. Ease up on the hours on this motor because I got about 450 on it because of COVID. Appreciate you guys following along. Until next time, like, subscribe, do what you got to do.